I'll probably get a lot of flack for saying this, but I was not impressed with the Vancouver Space Center. Yes, they have a moon rock, and that's cool. And yes, they have a planetarium, which is also really cool. So why did I leave with the feeling of, is that it? Let's start with the basics. I am at the Space Center, which is also the Museum of Vancouver. The tulips are about to pop open, despite having a late winter storm three days ago that dumped six inches of snow on the area. The location is beautiful. It's situated in Vanier Park, next to the seawall, across from downtown Vancouver. And the building is beautiful, and has a unique roof that houses the planetarium. The sculpture was made by George Norris, and is obviously called the Crab. Let's talk about the good stuff first. One of the first things you see is a map of the world at night showing light sources. The brighter the lights, the higher the population. This exhibit houses a piece of brick ballast that was on the ship USS Columbia back in 1792. It was given to NASA and put on board the space shuttle Columbia that flew into space on November 19th, 1996. Now that's pretty cool. They have models of the J2, RL-10, and the Vernier engines. So, what rocket were these engines on? All three were used to prepare for or used in the Apollo moon program. This little guy was used on the surveyor program to demonstrate soft landings on the moon, as opposed to well, crashing. Next up is the world's first restartable liquid hydrogen and oxygen engine. It was first used on Saturn 1 back in 1963 and will be used in NASA's next moon mission, the Artemis program. And lastly is the J2 engine. The Saturn 5 features 11 engines, 5 were the F1 and 6 were the J2s. One of those J2 engines was used to carry Apollo to the moon. There's a couple models of the Russian space shuttle and the heavy lift European space rocket. The Russian Phobos Mars model was actually quite good. I enjoyed all the detail on it. And you've got to get a selfie in the spacesuit. That's always a hit with everybody. Could you hold this for me? Sure. Mm, all right, well, there will be good. Okay. Thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome. that. A few other displays they had included the moon probe and the Canada Arm latching system. What I love about this model is all the details it has, right down to the cables and the wires and they have a couple of hands-on vacuum of space experiments and unfortunately one of them did not work and that is where my disappointment begins now i can accept the fact that there's a few things in a museum that could be broken or aren't working or missing or they're working on that's fine and i'm okay with that my last video on the maritime museum had a simulator that wasn't working either i realize the space center square footage is a little on the low side but there is still room to put more models but there are lots of reader boards and lots of reader stations so you can read and read and well you get the idea what's funny is is that while making this video i had to do more research to add details that the museum left out i know i know I just complained about all the reader boards they have. And speaking of details, this model really bothered me. I can appreciate the life-size model, but there's no drive mechanism detail to the wheels. It's a far cry from their latching mechanism display I showed earlier. So criticisms aside, is this fun for kids? Yes it is. In this room you can project yourself into the stars, there are some interactive computer screens, and a small auditorium where you can sit and watch live demonstrations. However, I got there too late to see a show. Which reminds me, make sure you check when they're open. The museum is open late on Wednesdays and Fridays, and of course I got there Thursday, so I was a bit rushed. The later openings will allow you to tour the adjacent observatory, which has a Casa Green telescope. I guess I'm going back to check that out. And please subscribe to my channel. It's free. But the crown jewel is upstairs. It's the planetarium and features a killer view of Vancouver. You can take in this view before and after the show, so no need to hurry. The Planetarium Star Theatre is a 230 seat in the round venue with a screen on the dome ceiling. And this guy provides the action. The shows they have is Forward to the Moon, From Earth to the Universe, and the one I saw tonight, Our Martian Neighborhood. I only got this quick 360 scan because you're not supposed to record during the show, although I have seen other YouTube videos where they do. So will adults enjoy this? Not as much as the kids because I feel the Space Center is geared towards them. Anyways, enjoy the views of downtown. And look, the sun came out after the show. 